Welcome back to JTMJ Crafts, ladies and gentlemen. How's it going, everybody? If you're new here, welcome to the tribe. If you're returning, howdy. Today, we're getting into a whipping chat. We're going to go over... I'm going to kick my dog in the butt. Trapper, get away from the tripod, please. Good way to start out a video. Foot on the tripod. What are you doing, sir? Can you get in your chair? Your chair is right there. Stop hitting the tripod. Okay, sorry about that. Dog, as soon as I pull up the tripod and phone, he automatically clicks in his head that it is time for a treat. And I'm like, get away from me. I don't have any treats right now. I have a whipping chat to record, sir. So, how's everybody doing? I know it's been a minute since I've been on and did a video. Life has been super busy. I've been hunting a lot. Like, every day, every weekend. And also trying to work my full-time full job. Sometimes YouTube doesn't always get... The high priority. But this month and the next month, I'm going to put in full effort for the next two months. For the next two events that I am co-hosting with Angie's Diamond Painting Adventures. Um, DP Pink for BCA. I have my... Breast Cancer Awareness um, release papers and some other chicken release papers. You can get these at Crashley's shop. This is Mrs. Coffee's um, art. Um, but yes, for the next two months, I'm going to try to try my best to make videos every week and also try my best to do a live stream. Every week. If. I have the time. It may be. Put back a little bit. Depending on what's going on. I only have a couple more weekends. Of hunting left. So. It's kind of iffy. Up in the air. But I'm going to try to get a live done. This week. Uh. Possibly Thursday, maybe Wednesday. I'm not 100% sure. All depends on my schedule. But this painting is for that. This painting is in honor of my mom, who I lost to breast cancer. This painting is absolutely gorgeous. It is Desert Woman. It is all pinks. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, I have it kitted up in Harbor Freight. Got your little containers. You can get Harbor Freight containers at Harbor Freight. Um, my location, they don't have them in store. You can only buy them online. So you have to check your location. Um, I'm also using my Muni Made tray because Muni Made is number one. And I am also using my Enablers Outpost pin that I got a little while ago. And for some reason, I really, really, really like the shape of this pin. It is super comfortable, even when my hand is hurting. It's super comfortable. I absolutely love it. So this has been my, my pin of choice for the past few months now. So... Today, we're going to start off, after I do all that mumbling of entrance there, 
uh, we are going to go over why breast cancer awareness is important to me and also why it is important for you to get it checked. And I have some facts and some knowledge to drop upon you that you guys may not know. These, we're going to go over it. So, breast cancer awareness is very special to me because one, I lost my mom to breast cancer 20, shit, 23 years ago this year. October 17th, 23 years ago. That, wow. That, that is weird saying that. I, I miss her every day. Uh, there's not a day that doesn't go by that I don't miss her, that I don't think about her, that I, I just could just imagine how different my life would be if she was still in my life. Because I was always a mama's boy. And my mom let me, well, she let me and my brothers pretty much get, get whatever we wanted. If dad said no, mom would say yes. So anyway, so it's very special to me because of that. And it's also very special to me because I have also have other friends and very close uh, family members that have had it and have had fought through it and actually have beat it in the end. Um, so it, it, it's very near and dear to my heart. So it's, it's an event that I plan on co-hosting with Angie every year if she will have me. Um, because it, it, it just means that much to me. And Plus, it's hunting season right now, so my mind is not into diamond painting. I have an, an other, I am sidetracked in another way right now. So, having these events coming up the next two months is going to hopefully get me back into a diamond painting swing where I can actually work on some paintings instead of being a serial starter and then sending them to Angie to have her finish them for me. Which, she does that. Um, if you need to know, contact her. Angie's Diamond Painting Adventures on YouTube. I will leave all of the information down there for her uh, because she's my sister and I love her. And... I always try to put her information down there for you guys because I end up and talk about her quite often, events, event-wise, or just her being my my finisher as I'm a serial starter type of thing. So anyways, let's get into this before I continue to sit here and jibber-jabber for the next hour about nothing that I wanted to talk about. My back is on fire. Not really. I just have a, a heat pad on my back right now. Because my lower back was hurting. And it's, it got hot. So, we're going to drop some knowledge and facts on you guys. Let me put my laptop over here a little bit closer. And enlarge this so I can see it all the way. Bing, bang, boom. Okay. Let's see. In 2023, an estimated 2,979,000 2 new cases of invasive breast cancer are expected to be diagnosed in the U.S., in women, along with 55,722 new cases of DCIS, 
which I'm not 100% sure what DCIS is. I'll have to research that and let you guys know. In 2023, an established of 2,800 new cases of invasive breast cancer are expected to be diagnosed in men. And it is a lifetime risk of breast cancer. In men, it is 1 in 833 percent chance of getting it so i can't stress it enough how important it is to actually go get your mammograms i know if i i don't know personally because i don't have no tatas but i i'm aware that it's probably very painful for you guys and you probably don't like getting it done but please 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 get it done and also, some other information that I will read here in just a second once I finish this. Got lots of good information. Five little known breast cancer facts. Breast cancer is one of the most common cancers in women, but there are still some things you may not know about it. By Adelina, I cannot say that last name. It's E S P A T S P A T. I don't. I'll probably butcher that name. Breast cancer is one of the most common cancers in women, but there are still some things you may not know about it. We spoke with these behaviors in the MD medical directory, blah, 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 cancer provision center about the little known breast cancer facts. There are five things you may not know. Number one, breast cancer does not always come from a lump. So, be aware of that fact. A lot of the times, if you feel a lump, that's when you indicate, wow, I may have breast cancer or something, you need to go get it checked out. But a lot of the times, it doesn't even form a lump. You don't even know it. That's why it's very important to go get your mammograms. Uh... Breast cancer is the easiest stage, usually doesn't have any symptoms. Oh wait, breast cancer in its earliest stages usually doesn't have any symptoms. When symptoms do appear, it's not always in the form of a lump. Be on the lookout for any sign below and report to your doctor right away. A lump in your breast, a swelling in or around your breast or collarbone or armpit area. Skin irritation or redness around your breast. Breast is warm and itchy. Nipple changes and discharge. Breast pain lasting for more than three to four weeks. Oh. Do, do you guys' tatas hurt for three to four weeks like that? Like, why would they say they, if they hurt for three to four weeks, go see a doctor? That, like, I would be going to see a doctor after like a week of my boob hurting. Like, that makes no sense to me. Um... Have a male relative who had breast cancer increase your chances? Huh? Having a male relative who has breast cancer... Oh, so if you have a male relative in your family that has had breast cancer, it increases your the relative's chances of getting it. Like if you have a... If you're a girl and you have a brother that gets it, you have a higher chance of getting it. That's crazy. I gotta scroll. My mouse is all the way over here, though. Um, I don't need a game 
um, commercial. Uh, you may more likely get breast cancer if you have a male relative who has the disease. This is especially true if it's close family member like a father, brother, or son. If you fall in the group, talk to your doctor about genetic testing to find out if the cancer runs through your family. That's, that's, that's deep right there. Like, genetic testing to find out if it's spread through to the next kin. That's pretty crazy. I would have not thought a, a cancer would have been able to, like, go from, like, the father to the son or to a daughter or something of that sort. That's crazy. See, I'm, I'm glad I did my knowledge upon this stuff because I have no clue about breast cancer besides I know what my mom went through hell with it. All right, I can't diamond paint and read at the same time because my brain's kind of sidetracked. Uh, number three, maintaining a healthy weight can reduce breast can breast cancer risk. Hmm. That that is in my in my mind discrimination against people who don't have the you know like some people that I know have dieted for years and have never been able to lose weight and and they're still a big person. Nothing wrong with them. More love for all of y'all y'all out there. But that that's crazy. If you keep a, a healthier weight, it reduces the risk of it. Uh, being overweight or of, especially after menopause may risk your cancer risk. To keep your cancer risk low, avoid weight gain by eating healthy foods, S staying active, stick to your plant-based diet, Fuck that. Give me some goddamn meat and potatoes and bread. Ah! <laughs> uh, um, Plant-based diet rich with fruits, vegetables, whole grains, beets, or beans, not beets. Um, and try to fit at least 30 minutes of physical activity in your day. That, that's... I, I'm blowing my own mind with the knowledge that I found off of this. I don't know if I could top this for next week. Now, I don't know if I'm going to get a bunch of stuff like this for next week. Or for... Yeah, for next week's whipping chat. I'm, I might try to find some stuff for a live so I have some things to talk about. But I just wanted to do a whipping chat and acknowledge to everybody to, to, like, really take care of yourself and get your, get your checks, because it's, it's very important, especially if you have little ones, get your checks, you don't want to have something happen to you, and leave a little one behind, that's just very sad. But it's the truth. And I only spit the truth. I don't know. I I I say what's on my mind and I don't really give two flying flip flops what anybody says about it. If you don't like what I said, don't listen to it. Stick there. I don't know. And upside down drills. Okay, let me get back to the reading. Oh, my my buggy butt's over there sound asleep. 
Uh, number four, you don't need to learn how to do self exams. You don't need to learn how to do self exams. Studies, studies show that doing monthly breast self exams isn't necessary. Instead, it's more important to stay aware of how your breasts look and feel. If you notice changes, report them to your doctor without delay. This works just well doing a formal breast ex exam. I almost said sex exam. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. uh. So, yeah, doing monthly checks is not necessary. Just, you know, just do your do your due diligence and get your your titties played with or not sorry, not not, not played with, smushed. Um 5. Drinking several glasses of alcohol a day can up your breast cancer risk. Wow. I did not know that. Drinking can up your risk. Wow. Sorry. I had to get some agua. I was sitting, sitting thirsty. Um, having a glass of wine now and again is not bad for your health. But drinking several glasses a day can... Increase your breast cancer risk. Play it safe by sticking to the recommended serving sizes. The American Institute of Cancer Research recommends that women have no more than one drink per day. And men have no more than two drinks per day. <laughs> I don't even drink, and it would take more than two drinks to get me drunk. I'm telling you that. Like, why are you being stingy? Jeez, he's stingy. What's wrong with a couple of drinks? Nothing. If you're at home by yourself, there's nothing wrong with a few drinks. But anyway, to schedule an appointment, call MD Anderson, blah, 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 blah. And it has an ad, a phone number for MD Anderson, which I believe MD Anderson is a place in Texas. I don't know if they have places around the world anywhere else, but I know they do have them in Texas. So if you're in Texas and you need to get a hook hooked up, go to MD Anderson. I heard they're really good. I had a know of somebody that went through them during her breast cancer awareness and they were really good. And they they got her cancer down to being gone, which was awesome. Alright, that's all of the knowledge that I have for you guys today. Let's do about twenty four minutes worth of knowledge. Not bad. Um, just wanted to give you guys the facts and not tell you how much it is important to, to get them checked. Not only for me, but you got to look at the long run. If you have kids, your husband, or your spouse, your wife, whatever it may be that you have, you know, you, it, you got to. You have to take care of yourself. I'm not trying to sit here and preach to y'all and say you have to do this and you can't do that. But just go get it checked. And if you feel something, go get it checked. But for now, we're going to continue on with this whip and chat. Um, and we're going to talk a little bit more about...
Um, just knowledge about breast cancer. Well, I mean, not maybe not like knowledge, but like just talking about like my mom's journey, you know, something like that. I don't want to talk about it and get all sad and depressed or anything, but I do want to talk about it because this is the time of the month that I, I honor my mom by doing this gorgeous painting in honor of her to, to put on my wall with my other painting I did last year, which last year I, if you all remember, I did Magenta Warrior and Oh my god, that painting is absolutely gorgeous. It's it's just a, a stunning horse. And it just reminded me of my mom. And then when I seen this painting, I was like, I have to do this painting for the DP Pink for BCA event. Because, like, this just reminds me of my mom, like, through and through. My mom was... Uh... Like, 75% Native American Indian. And, uh... D this just, it just re reminds me of my mom a lot. And I want to put this in my dining room. Uh, beside Magenta Warrior. And that way I can see them every day and know that she is, she is here with me and she is missed very much, but is, is loved and is, I'm very happy that she's not in pain anymore. And because she, she went through a lot with her journey of breast cancer <clears throat> I'll let go of it. I'm using some putty that Angie makes, and sometimes it wants to steal my diamonds. I have to force them to let go. It's good stuff. Just checking over and making sure I didn't miss any anywhere. This color, if I put it up, I don't see no more. So yeah, it just, I just, I, I watched my mom go through a lot, and I just, this is my time to honor my mom. I was doing the... Mother's Day event, and I think the Mother's Day event is a good idea, it's just, during that time of the, these are out of order, oh, motherfucker, fucking son of a bitch, put up in deo, essay, fuck, mother. Mierta! I just spilled diamonds all over my freaking sh shit. Mierta. Um. So yeah. Uh, thirty-four. Um. Yeah. So. What else? And also, I don't know. My brain is just like, it's like going a thousand miles a minute. Let me pause for a second and let me try to see if I can get my brain to like slow down for a second. Okay, so I am back. I just had to take a minute because my brain was just like going a thousand places at once and I was... Like, trying to, like, I don't know, like, get it to, like, calm itself. But that was just not going to happen. It's like an hour later. I had to go 
walk away and go do some other things and get my mind off of it. That's the problem with with working uh on stuff for my mom. It it's 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 very hard for me because I get emotional because I miss her. Like I miss her a lot. So sometimes working on these events that like the Mother's Day event, it just it it wore on me so bad that I ended up and stopped posting to YouTube for like two weeks because I just I was in such a bad depressed state that I just I could not perform anything and give you guys anything to to watch or to view and as as much as I wanted to be there for the event I just I just couldn't do it and that's why I w I've I've been debating on bringing that event back next year because I was uh possibly could have co-host for it next year but I just I don't know if I'm I'm open for that right now it's it was just it was just too much last year I I had I had a hard time with it and then it really upset me because nobody joined in on the event so it just it really just like spiraled me down and I just I was like all right I don't know if I'm going to do this event I'm got I got some thinking to do but I am excited for these two next events that are coming up and if you don't know what the text the next two events are which is DP pink for BCA and also oh, sorry my nose is like super itchy I got I got it scratch on the end of my nose from branches and it's just like super itchy um but the other one is dp for native heritage 2023 i think that's correct i had to rattle my brain around real fast for that one I, I kept saying it wrong a while back, but I'm pretty sure that's correct. So I'm super excited for both of these events because both of them, I get to work on paintings that I love. And that is Native American paintings. And that's specifically why I picked out this painting for this event because it has a ton of pink in it, but it's also Native American. And my mom, like I said, was Native American, so it's very close to me. And the other event is for Native American heritage. I will also be working on another Native American woman with a wolf. And oh my God, I can't wait for that one. I was hoping to get a chance to start that painting, but I don't think I'm going to actually get a chance to, like, really sit down and start it and possibly get a jump on it. That's usually how I work up my paintings. For events, I'll start, like, three or four months ahead of time, and I'll work, like, half of the painting up or a quarter of it or something and then when the event gets here I already have a chunk of the painting started because all of mine and sister Angie's events are not required to be a new start it can be a whip it can be a like, this event, all you have to have is a painting with pink in it. It's not super duper, like, mandatory. You have to have this, or you have to have that, or you can't join. It We're very lenient with the events. 
We want it to where people can join in if they want to join in. And we just make it towards easy for everybody. I'm pretty sure you can find a painting. And all you have to have is one colored pink in the painting. And if it's like one diamond, you're in. So yeah, I just become a serial starter. And if I start paintings and I, if they have a lot of confetti in them, I just send them over to Sister Angie. I work out a deal with her where she completes paintings for me. And we, or I pay her or work out a deal to buy her a painting to complete my painting. Or I gifted her, uh, the last time I gifted her a sweatshirt and a painting for completing a painting. So, if you're interested, her info will be down below. She's good at completing paintings. She's fast and reliable. That's where I got my, my, uh, my putty, or not my putty, my, uh, I guess it is putty. I don't, I tell, my brain is like scrambled eggs tonight. I don't know what the deal is with my brain. I'm like all over the place and I am sorry for that. I feel like I have ADHD tonight for some reason and I'm just like all over the freaking place. I've been like this all day. I've like, I'd go over, do something at work and then I'll come back over and I would talk to my boss and he'll be like, what are you talking about? And I'll just go into talking about some who knows what the hell about. And then my boss is like, Jeremy, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. Why? And he's like, because we didn't do that job today. I don't know what the heck you're talking about. And I was like, yeah, I did. And no, I didn't. It was a completely different job. I guess it's it could possibly be the uh sorry, straightening out drills. Could be the sleep deprived. I've been so tired lately and working long hours, hunting, I've just been exhausted. And, like, right now, I feel like I could go lay down and take a nap and just be lights out for the night. But I can't do that yet. I have to finish this before I go any further. So, question... What do you guys want to see for Sunday's video? I know I'm off onto a different subject, but I have a couple of different things that I can unbox for you guys. What are you guys looking to see? I can do, let's see, I have a DAC that I haven't unboxed yet. Um, I have a Rose Prophet that I haven't unboxed yet. I also have a Stacy Deal from an artist from Rose Prophet Creations that I could unbox. I think that's it. I have three right now. I think that's it. If I'm if I'm mistaken, I'll let you guys know later, but I think that's that's all I have to unbox at the moment. So if you guys have been, anything that I put down there that you guys would like to see, let me know. And the 
The one that's Stacy Deal, it's a gorgeous painting of a native woman. And then the one for Rose herself is Mr. Trapper Do. And then the DAC is an older JoJo's art that I don't have. So I had to add it to my collection. It was one of those paintings that I, I had put in to be notified when it was coming back into stock. And one day I got an email saying it was back into stock. And I was like, no way. I walked over there. I used my points and I checked out. And I paid $2.50 and like 50 cents for the painting. Because I used my points. I was like, cha-ching. Thank you. I'm still looking for a couple of JoJo's Arts paintings that I don't have that are a must-get because JoJo's Arts is one of my favorite artists. Get up there. I absolutely love JoJo's work. It's beautiful, and I think mainly it's because it's animals, and I am I have an attraction, well, not an attraction, but I have a, I don't know, animals call call my name. I'm some people call me the animal whisperer because I can literally walk up to any dog, any any animal in general, and talk touch it or talk to it, and it would be fine. Not a lot of people are like that. Although, saying that, I have been bitten by two different dogs in my lifetime. Well, three different dogs. Yeah, three different dogs. Um, I got bit when I was a kid. By... Actually, this is, this is funny because on my personal Facebook a couple of weeks ago, I had put on there one of those quiz things, and it was, what's three things that I'm not afraid of, and one thing that I am afraid of, and nobody, nobody picked that I was afraid of dogs, which is the truth. I am highly afraid of dogs, especially if it's dogs that I don't know. I am very afraid of dogs. Still to this day, 45, 46 years old, and I'm afraid of dogs. But I've been bit three different times, so. I guess it's just. Just me being afraid. I mean, and people may ask, like, how do you do a trapper? Trapper. Trapper's my main squeeze. Trapper don't bother me. It's dogs that I don't know. Like, if I'm out on the street somewhere and a dog comes up to me that I don't know, I am I am very scared. I literally will find any way to get away from it, to, to put myself in safe hands somewhere besides wherever that dog is coming from. So, I might as well tell the stories of how I got bitten. Um, so, my neighbor across the street from me, which was my uncle's, my uncle's house. And out in front of my uncle's house, there was another house that these people rented. And they were... Uh, their kids and I were friends, and my uncle Steve's son and I were friends. Well, we weren't friends; we were we were family. But anyways, so I would always go over to, to my uncle's house and play games, or ride bikes, or do whatever. And I used to always go over to the neighbor's house, and they had this big old huge pit bull. And they said that they had been having some problems with him. He started getting 
kind of weird around the kids where he was snipping at them and, and biting at them. And so they decided to put him in this uh, yard um, that had a 10-foot a chain-link fence. And this dog walked up this chain-link fence like it was nothing. And I sat there and watched him. So my brother had ran back to the house. He's like, hold on, stay here. I forgot my hat. I think it was. So I'm standing there on my bike. The dog comes up to the fence. And I'm standing on the road, which is next to the fence. And I'm like, hey, buddy. And I'm sitting there talking to the dog. And he's wagging his tail. He's all, like, just excited because I'm talking to him, whatever. And then next thing I know, this dog literally climbs this fence like it was nothing and I was like oh shit and uh I'm standing there I think I was like 11 and I was standing there on my bike and he comes up starts smelling around me and smelling me smelling me and about that time I'm like he's gonna bite me he's going to bite me and he comes around, circles around me one last time, comes up to my right-hand side, and literally opens his mouth and bites my, right on my thigh, and gives me a, a, like that, and then lets go and takes off running. I scream for my brother. My brother runs down, jumps on his bike, runs uh, Bryce's bike home as fast as he can. Gets my mom. My mom... By the time my mom gets over there in her Camaro, the neighbor had just pulled down in her car and pulled out, like, 13 different car seats to make room for me to get in there so she could take me to my mom. And my, my mom gets there, and I'm like halfway in the back seat and she's like Jeremy get out of there you're not getting in there and she's like I was bringing him over there and my mom says bitch get the fuck out of my face I'm gonna beat your ass and I'm like in the car we go okay thank you mom thank you for coming getting me and she's like are you okay sweetie I don't think my mom ever drove so bloody freaking fast in my life my mom had a 76 Z28 Camaro, and it was really fast. And we were at the hospital within, like, the, it took it takes us about 25 minutes to get to the hospital. Maybe 30, depending on traffic. My mom had us there within, like, 10 minutes, I swear. It was, like, so fast. And then she walks me in there, and she's like, My son was bit by a dog! And the lady's like, okay, well, you're going to have to set him down. And we're going to have to get him put into the system and blah, blah, blah. My mom's like, look, listen, you need to get your ass back there and put him on one of those tables. And you need to start looking at his damn leg now. And the lady's like, okay, yes, ma'am. So... They get me brought to the back. My mom starts filling out paperwork while I'm already, like, in the back. And, uh, the lady's like, what happened? And I was like, I was at my neighbor's house, and they have a dog. And the dog usually is friendly, but for some reason today was being bad. I had a bad day or something, I don't know exactly. And she asked what kind of dog it was, and they said it was a pit bull. And she's like, okay, so she went and got this syringe that was, like, this long. And she sat there and stabbed me in the the bite wounds on both sides of my legs and filled my legs up with all kinds of... I'm guessing it was, like, something to, like, sterilize it and kill anything that was in there possibly from that dog's mouth and uh she kept sticking it in the hole and squishing it around and I could like I could feel it inside my leg like she was I could feel it going into the hole 
and then pushing into the inside of, like, the meat of my leg, and I'm like, ow, shit, that hurts. So, that was my first dog bite. My second dog bite. So, my leg, it still, to this day, has two teeth marks on the top of the thigh, So yeah, I still have two teeth marks on the top of my leg. They're probably about like this far apart now because I've grown a lot. And I have two teeth marks on the bottom side of my leg. So there was four total. The second dog bite was I was bit trying to break up a dog fight. And it was probably the stupidest thing I ever did in my life. But at the time, my sister-in-law just came home from the hospital. She just had my niece. And I came over to the house, and I had my dog with me. And I got over there, and I'm like, hey, I'm coming over to see my niece. And she's like, okay, come in. And I said, can I bring DJ in? And she's like, oh, yeah, the other dogs are outside. He's fine. And while I was giving my niece lovin's, she was over there loving on DJ. And uh, she got up and she had to go to the bathroom or something. And I told DJ to come over beside me. I made him sit down and lay down and stay there. And my niece was laying on the couch. And her aunt was there. And her aunt opened up the back door, not knowing that the big dogs are not allowed to come in the house. While the baby's out on the couch or on the floor or wherever the baby was at. The dogs were not allowed to come in the house. And she didn't know that my dog DJ and his brother Bondo did not like each other. Soon as they came into the house, Bondo came charging in, seen Trapper, and it was a full out fight right there beside my niece. So I yell for my sister-in-law. She runs in, grabs my niece. I grab my dog by his collar and I drag him to the back bedroom. As Bondo is sitting there trying to beat him up and my dog's trying to beat him up and they're like going back and forth beating the shit out of each other. And all of a sudden, my dad comes running over and he... He gets bit as well. He grabs Bondo and pulls him off. And as my dad pulls Bondo off of Trapper, he yells at me to go to the bathroom and take Trapper, or not Trapper, DJ to the bathroom and get out of the bedroom. And Bondo had reached up and was lunging straight for my face. And my dad reached his arm over like this, and my dad ended up and got bit on his forearm two or three times. About this time, I was previously bitten on my wrist right here. I don't know if you can see it, but there's like an indentation right there. That's where it was at. And there's actually like an indentation in the bone. And then there's also a tooth mark over here where I was bit by Bondo trying to get them separated at the last second before I got them into the bathroom. I get into the bathroom. I lock the door. And uh, my dad gets the two dogs outside. He comes back in. He starts pounding on the door. Jeremy! Jeremy! And I'm like, yeah, I'm okay, I'm okay. He's like, are you hurt? And I go, yeah, I'm bit, I'm bit, I'm bit. And he's like, open the door. And I'm like, are the dogs out there? He's like, no, I've already taken care of them. I open the door and I see my dad's arm's got like four or five puncture wounds in it. He looks at my wrist and he's like, let's go. We got in the car. We took off and we went down to the walking clinic where my mom's best friend works and owns 
And we went down there. We put the dogs up. We ran down there. She rushed us in on the spot, got us looked at, taken care of, stitched up, and all of all of the fun things, got antibiotics, and she's like, what happened? I said, I was over visiting my new niece who just came home from the hospital that day, and I had my dog with me, and my sister-in-law's aunt did not know that the the dogs did not get along. She let the dogs in not knowing it. And then it was a fight right beside my niece. So I had to drag my the dogs to the back bedroom. And she was like, oh, okay. She's like, I'm not going to call it in to, you know, animal control. Since it was, it was you guys were getting bit for trying to break up a fight in front of the baby. She's like, I get it. I'm not calling this in. Which she probably could have gotten in trouble for it, but... It's been like 20 something years now, so. Oh, my niece is getting ready to have a baby. She's not no baby no more. She's actually she's 23 years old. That was another thing. What a blessing on the day that my mom passed away. My niece was born. So yeah, it was a blessing in disguise. And they always say God takes one and gives you one back. But Yeah, so where are we at on time here? Let's see it's twenty minutes. I, I feel like I was talking about something and then switched subjects and started talking about something else. And I don't remember what I was talking about originally. Hopefully next week my mind will be back to somewhat uh, normal copacetic brain. Because this scrambled eggs upstairs brain sucks. But I ha I just I feel like it's from lack of sleep because I have been so exhausted lately. So hopefully next week when we come back for our weekly whip and chat, I'll be more lively and we'll find some more good things to talk about for this week or for next week's whip. Sorry, this week's whip and chat was just kind of all over the place. Sometimes you have good whip, or I have good whip and chats. Sometimes I have the rambling whips where I just ramble about whatever comes to my mind. But everybody is doing fantastic here at the house. Um, Thor is doing great. He actually... Why are you two stuck together? He actually uh, was up and active today. The It rained here for a, uh, like... Three and a half ish days, and it was weird during that time where it rained. All he wanted to do was sleep. It's getting close to the time of the year where he goes into another brumation cycle. So they go through the cycle of brumation, and where they they want to breed, so they they uh. Come on, you little pain in my ass.
it it don't want to let go of my my diamonds. It says nope. I'm holding on to you tighter than Flynn. Well, yeah, that's about it. I don't really have anything else to talk about. Um, we'll try to keep an eye out on the channel either Wednesday, Thursday. I'm thinking probably Wednesday. I have to talk to my brother tomorrow and find out if we're hunting this this week after work or if we're just going to go next weekend. Not 100% sure. I'm trying to hunt after work. That way it gives us more time in the woods to actually get some hunting in. To possibly see some some animals. Uh, let's see. Last weekend we seen 45 deer. Uh, this weekend that just passed. We seen 45 deer and one bear. So all in all, it's a good weekend. We just... Just need some bucks to show their face, that's all. But, I'm gonna let you guys go. It has been a pleasure... Bringing another whip and chat for you guys to watch. I hope it brings you guys some knowledge about breast cancer awareness. And I'm sorry the last half of this has been kind of squirreling all over the place. My brain is kind of lost someplace and needs to come back to me. But thank you so much for being here. Have some peace. Have some love. Have respect for all. And I hope you guys have a wonderful Wednesday. Happy hump day, and I will see you guys Sunday. Let me know in the description box what you guys would like to see unboxed for Sunday. Love ya. Bye.